welcome back to another vlog. I am in a hurry as per usual. I am going to try to get out the door in like six minutes, no joke. Just got dressed, just finished my hair. I did like one of those cute little clips that I got at the pop-up event that I showed in like the last vlog or the one before that. I'm getting ready to meet up with a friend from Instagram today. She happens to be in town and she asked me if I wanted to get lunch and I was like, heck yeah. Or I guess brunch or something like that. So we're gonna head into Los Feliz and do that today. We're going to one of my favorite restaurants. It's called Home. Oh my God, my makeup, I can't. I don't like to self tan my face because it breaks me out. So I literally like leave my face alone when I fake tan my body and it always just looks so funny. Hold please, we need to blend. Not gonna lie, I just completely forgot I was vlogging. <laughs> So yeah, that's what is on the plan for this morning. It was a long weekend this past weekend. Today is Tuesday. So like honestly, just trying my best to ease back into things and continuously try to practice that whole like work-life balance thing. I'm trying not to let myself feel stressed about the fact that I'm, I just feel really behind in everything since moving here. I think I've talked about that and it's just part of like moving somewhere new and attempting to get settled and seeing friends and all that kind of stuff but I just feel like I can't catch up. So today might be really nice to just sort of like relax, watch some Love Island, like cook some nice dinner. So we'll see what we get up to for the rest of the day but I'm gonna finish getting ready and then we're gonna head out the door and get a nice delicious brunch so let's do it. Right, it's a little while later now. I just got back from brunch with Emily. It was so much fun. We actually ended up hanging out for like over three hours. It was so much fun. We like walked around. We went into like a crossroads, which is like a kind of resale clothing shop, like Plato's Closet, Buffalo Exchange, etc. So that was really fun and it was so nice to meet her. I need to get around the new bus. Hold on. So now I'm headed home. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more work, but actually I just passed a H Mart. They have like I think three or four H Marts here in Koreatown. That's like the area of town that I'm in right now. I'm passing through. And it reminded me that I bought this book called Crying in H Mart. And it had amazing reviews. Like so many people have said that it's an incredible book. And so when I passed by the H Mart, it reminded me that I bought it. And I'm really excited to check it out. So we'll have to uh, report back on that. I'm really in like a reading mood. We'll see what we get up to for the rest of the day. I think I'm going to do a little bit more work. I was going to swing by one of my friend's houses and do a little bit of like walking like do a little walk and chat we love to like walk together especially with her baby but i'm honestly tired and either i'm gonna go home and take a nap or <laughs> i'm gonna go home and get a little bit of work done so we'll check in in a bit oh there's another h mark you happy these two are absolutely obsessed with this room in the afternoon it's so bright and sunny in here and you can find them in here all afternoon long it's so cute they like love the living room in the morning because of the morning light and then they love this room in the afternoon so precious good morning it is a couple days later it's actually thursday now and i just like always no matter what if i'm social for more than like an hour <laughs> at any given time um i truly need like a full day in between social plans to like decompress i'm just such an introvert but we're back it is thursday i'm actually getting ready to meet up with my friend kara we're gonna go for a hike today it's the same hike that i did in my vlogs when we visited back in april it's called cold water canyon no franklin canyon i think um and it's a really nice little hike and it's not too too hot today so hopefully it'll be awesome and i'm excited to like get moving i just haven't been able to fully get into a movement routine yet since i've been back here i'm going to talk about it in a main channel video but i'm excited so that's the plan. I did like a cute little braid today and she had a dentist appointment like literally down the street from my house So she's gonna pick me up in a few minutes and we're gonna go hiking and I just need some fresh air and some movement today So let's freaking do it before I go. I totally forgot to show updates on the bathroom So we did you know set up the bathroom besides like art So here is okay. Looks like a little dirty cuz you know We've used it for the last like week and a half, but here is the two bath mats We went with these are both from urban outfitters. I'll link them down below don't love shopping urban outfitters But they really went with the vibe and then we have our towels again They're used so you know bear with but they're so so cute the checkers together. It's just like so funky I love it and then we have the hand towels hung up. They look so cute over here We put up a little bath tray down 
down in our bath. But yeah, we definitely need some kind of art on the walls in here. So we'll work on that. But like, look at it. It's such a cute little funky bathroom. I love it. It needed some color. It was like a little dull. And then as far as our bedroom goes, we did hang up our little tapestries. These used to be over our bed at like our last several places. So I think it looks really, really cute. We're definitely gonna have to figure out we had to wash our duvet because Moo got <laughs> butt juice on it. It's just real life. We might end up getting like a bigger rug for this area because Layla has been like slipping and sliding on these floors lately so we'll see about that but I mean it looks okay in here there's nothing else to update in the living room my filming room is done though have I even shown that wait again I don't know why I feel the need to keep prefacing this but like work in progress okay here we go so when you walk in this is kind of like my filming background sort of kind of I need to hang this plant up somewhere I'm like thinking either here in this corner or maybe this corner the lights aren't on right now it's like kind of a weird time we have like my chair set up right here yeah this does not go here <laughs> this is more accurate to what it's gonna look like so we have this we have the plant hanging up in the window definitely want to get some like more tapestries and like fill up the walls a lot more I liked the vibe of my last filming area I do have a clothing rack here this is truly um, what's the word I'm looking for like functional like I actually need the extra storage for clothes so there's that got some shoes down here have the orange couch of course I'm still not a hundred percent sure what I want to do with this but we'll see about that I have my shoe storage over here with some art there's my out of the box with Layla and Moo that's from my friend Dina Jones I have some packages that are waiting to be open for videos I have my mirror right here I have my plant and then like some other random things in this corner and then those double doors close when I film and it's just so cute I love how I started and I was like let's go hiking and then it turned into like a five minute rant about my apartment but I just wanted to show updates you know okay now let's actually go hiking and continue with our day I need some movement so let's do it I'm home from the hike. I have since showered, scrubbed myself. I washed my face, put on some more moisturizer, and I did get a little bit of a sunburn. Oopsies. It's fine, it'll be fine in like a day, but whoops. So what I think I'm gonna do is go get my nails done. I haven't gotten my nails done since like a couple weeks before we left. Like that was my water bottle. <laughs> a couple weeks before we left to move here and it's just time. I just want to pamper myself, so that's what we're gonna do. So that is what's next on the list of self-care day to day. Good evening, it's a while later. Don't um, mind my hair. I don't know what's happening. I, listen, what? I have oh, sunscreen on my face because I, when I walked to get my nails done earlier, after I washed my face, I put sunscreen on so my face just looks like glaringly white. We're meal prepping. <laughs> yeah, we're meal prepping tonight. Um, we actually were planning on making some dinner. We were gonna make some spaghetti and then we were making it and I was like, I don't want this. Like I want a burger. I'm on my period. I just like really want to like cash in my period meal. Oh yeah, ignore that clock on the wall. Um, we hung it there because we wanted to see what it would look like and we don't like it, but we haven't taken it down. But so we, um, ended up just making the spaghetti like we were already making it and we're just like meal prepping it for lunch tomorrow so it's fine but we're um we ordered shake shack that's basically what i'm getting at and we're gonna sit on the couch and do our nightly routine since we moved to la every single night we will sit on this couch and watch love island and it's fantastic however oh this lighting perfect i need some input or some advice or some tips or whatever because basically situation. oh yeah it does a little thank you basically thank you very much lighting person we're watching it on hulu which is like two weeks behind and it's driving me mad because i'm seeing spoilers every single day and i'm seeing like all the people that i follow who live in the uk talking about love island all the people here and what I'm confused about is how are you, if you live in the US, please help me answer this. 
how are you watching Love Island on your TV? Because we have a VPN. That's how we, you know, watched it in past years. But then when we try to airplay it to our TV or screen mirror or whatever, it doesn't work. And I looked it up and like on ITV's website, it says that it doesn't support airplaying or screen mirroring. But I see people that I follow watching Love Island on their TV and like it has captions and everything. So I'm really confused. Um, and I've heard some people say, try it from your phone. I did that, it didn't work. So I'm just very, I'm perplexed. Like, so if you watch Love Island, if you live in the US and you watch Love Island, like in real time with the VPN from your device, how do you play it to your TV? Cause I even watched this one girl on Instagram. She was like, I just airplay it to my TV. I was like, mine does not do that. It plays a black screen. So anyways, we're gonna watch a two weeks old episode of Love Island. I really need to know though how to fix it and how to watch it currently because it's driving me mad. I need to know what's happening. We're in Casa More week and we've missed the whole thing. Help us out in the comments. I might even post a thing on Instagram because I'm desperate. I'm like how I almost reached out to someone that I follow on Instagram that I don't even know and wanted to be like, hey, how did, how did you do that? But I decided not to, so please let us know. But we're gonna put that on and then eat our Shake Shack for dinner. I'm obviously gonna show you and we're just gonna live our absolute best lives. We were gonna go to the beach tonight and it's a little, it's getting late, we're tired. It'll be another day. I'm entering the I'm the bombshell. A new bombshell enters the villa. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Our Shake Shack has arrived. I just got a cheeseburger with bacon and pickle. He got like a double cheeseburger. We got some fries. We got some shakes. And this is my dream night. It's a little while later. I don't know what's going on with my hair, okay? We're just gonna ignore it. But I just was sitting there telling Drew on the couch, like the back of my neck feels hot. Like I feel heat radiating off the back of my neck. Oh, I messed up. Um, yeah, so, oh, I messed up. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. Okay, oops. I will definitely put on some aloe before I go to bed. Damn it. Sunburn is like really not good for your skin and I really try not to burn, but to be fair, it's kind of like my first time out in the sun yet this summer. So it's like, it's kind of bound to happen at least once, but damn. Anyway, some of you are like, Carrie, I love your at home vlogs. Like you should vlog more at home, first of all. This is usually what I look like. Like, what? Which, nothing wrong with that. I look amazing. I am amazing. But then also, oh, hello, it's pitch black. Um, we're just about to play Mario Kart. And like, we watch Love Island, we eat food, and then we like, play Mario Kart, Mario Party. We watch TikToks together. All the things. I need to close all the blinds now because it's getting dark, but, but yeah, it's kind of boring stuff. So that's sort of why I don't often show it because it's kind of the same routine every night not boring to me but like maybe boring to watch you know anyways i need to go nurse my um sunburn wounds <sighs> i can't believe i did that i can't believe it you can't really see it on the camera <laughs> no you can see it in person thank you <laughs> i can like push on it and it's like this whole time he was putting aloe on me. He was like, you are not allowed to go in the sun anymore without sunscreen. He was like scolding me. Oh, okay. Aloe is on, no worries. But I do feel like um, I am a portable heater on my back. <sighs> it happens to the best of us, but oh. damn. Definitely need to be more careful next time. In my defense, the hike that I went on today was a place that I've been to before. I think I mentioned this, but... I went on like a different trail and th this was a completely different one than I went on last time. The one I went on last time was totally covered. You were barely in the sun at all. It was mostly shade and you were like walking through like trees and brushes and stuff and it was totally covered. The one that I went on today was a totally different trail. So I had no idea. You should take like some heavy rubber and Tylenol before bed to help with any swelling yeah. that might happen. 
This trail that I went on today, you were in the sun the entire time. We were out there for like an hour and a half and I do have like pretty fair skin, so. Okay, it's not painful, it's just hot, but I'll survive. That's definitely gonna peel though and that's gonna be annoying. Carry jerky. I'm now carry jerky. Circa 2020. <laughs> Drew and I had a really bad sunburn in 2020. We decided to like go to a socially distanced beach outing and we both got so fried and my legs were peeling so, so badly. We both definitely got sun poisoning that day. Like it was awful. And we were reapplying sunscreen like the whole time. But Drew called me carry jerky for like a week after that. Cause I mean, I was just peeling so badly. So anyway, okay, I'm mad at myself. Bye. At least my nails are cute. Is that your food? Is that your food? Let's go eat your dinner. Come on, up. Oh yes, slip and slide. That's gonna do it for me for this vlog today. We got our rain machine on. It's got a nice little thunderstorm going. We have the skylight on. We're gonna get nice and cozy and cuddle up in bed and maybe watch like a Disney movie or something. But thank you so much for being here today, or I guess the last couple days and hanging out with me. And I will see you very soon.